Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gent Watches. Today we're going to be watching some, uh, what is it called? Mob Psycho 100 Season 3 Episode 4. Um, last episode we got started with what seems to be the overarching story possibly of, uh, of the season, of possibly this arc, I don't know how it's gonna happen. Between the previous video and this video, I rewatched all of Mob Psycho, um, so it's kind of, like, the lore of Mob Psycho is pretty fresh on the brain now, um, but I mean, I guess the disadvantage of that is, like, now, between episode three of Mob Psycho season three and episode four of Mob Psycho season three, I took in a lot of Mob Psycho information that wasn't related to those two episodes, so I am, I might be playing a little bit of catch up, but I think I'm, I think I'm all there, right? It's, Dimple has started up, well, has, has claimed himself to be the leader of the, uh, Psycho Helmet, uh, religion, and, uh, and yeah, I guess we're gonna see how that plays out, so let's just get into this episode, this is episode four of Mob Psycho, if you wanna, uh, get the full-length reaction, you can go to my Patreon account in the description below. Let's do it. I totally forgot we had plans. You totally mm. forgot? The true founder revealed himself. Uh... So it really wasn't you. I apologize for dragging you into this. My bad. Forget about it. But it is him! Dimple. Ah, ah, ah. Some people came up to me and invited me to this seminar, and by the end of it, I was way more interested in that than the universe. Hmm. Boys, we are no longer the telepathy club, but rather the psycho helmet Aww. religion salt middle school branch. <laughs> so what do we have to do exactly? He hated that. Play in the psycho helmet religious tradition, of course. Apparently, just five minutes a day gets you a Oh, they're all being indoctrinated. Well, that's the self proclaimed founder. You look familiar. No, not at all. <gasps> but, well, yes, he does. He looks like you. <laughs> He's a psychic, though, right? I went to take a look up close, and the construction's definitely not to blame. Now, the culprit here is overgrown. <laughs> the boots. little food on his on mouth. That one building was already visibly affected. That's true. The same things happening all across the city. Coincidentally or not, the most popular thing in the city right now. The, the divine, divine tree. tree. Would that be such a bad thing? It'd be a <laughs> huge pain, and worse, it wouldn't bring it any money. <laughs> on top of all that. Uh, we are kind of sort of responsible for that thing. Mm-hmm. A little bit. I'm going to need your help. It's up to us to destroy that broccoli. Oh my god, that's gonna be difficult. Good afternoon. Please I mean, take people one. are not gonna uh, be happy. What's this? They've got a new item. The episode was called you. Divine Tree oh, 1. Tree that implies there might be more. They've even got free samples. Wow, you can really taste the tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it must be some kind of placebo effect. Hmm. Oh, <gasps> that is terrifying. I am feeling better though. Oh, Whoa! To the tree. Master Psycho Helmet, be praised. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> They're handing this out across the city? Oh, okay, Not okay. So okay, now I'm mad! <laughs> Past here, huh? Apologies, but I'll have to make a He's got the flame powers, doesn't he? Oh, he's not even using them? But he's got pyrokinesis. <laughs> oh. So is Dimple in here controlling all this? I take it you were expecting me. Huh? Hey, that you, Kageyama? Uh uh. I'm God. Don't you recognize me? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh wow! Wow! Psycho helmet. It works that give me effectively. Yes, faithful God. Psycho helmet. Oh wow. Divine tree. Man, are you a pain in the ass? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Yes! Take okay, that. good, good, good. He's not as susceptible. Brainwash me again, will you? To those unfortunate souls who have nothing. Oh <laughs> I'm God after all. Is it truly your intention to defy God? Come on! Don't be ridiculous! This is very cool. Third time? It's clear what you're up to. Nice. You're using that brainwashing ability of yours to manipulate people into venerating the psycho helmet religion. Oh. Oh. I'm sick of fools like you. Ho -ho. 
around and using your power to control people. <gasps> I hate to be the one to break it to you, but oh, he's make you a god. He's getting stronger. Star. Oh, thanks, uh, sir. Oh, yes. This dude. There seems to be the something guy. wrong with the plants. I would not have recognized Minigishi if I didn't just watch both the first two seasons of Mob Psycho. The real job is a lot tougher than I realized. What tree do you belong to? So that's it. The divine tree. I see. The divine tree stealing energy from all the plants in the city. Oh. Good thing it came to my attention. Okay. You this is your specialty, Minigishi. Oh. There you are, Minigishi. No matter what you do, you won't be able to stop me. <laughs> right, Hanazawa? Especially not in the tree. I see. But what's with this new appearance of yours? Dimple? Yeah. Well, this truly is a shame. Never thought I'd have to take you down again. Man. When time comes, I'll just tell Kageyama you quietly crossed over. <laughs> this is goodbye! This is a really cool... I think Dimple's a really cool villain here. Oh, that's right. You've got it in your head that you're popular all of a sudden. <laughs> I get it. Everyone goes to that overconfident stage sooner or later. You want me to carry it to the ocean? <laughs> right. My job to secure routes and guide you there. This will be a lot of work. Yeah. It'd that is, that is definitely a lot of work. Uh, oh. Hey, Ritsu. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Few of us carried a piano that would have been impossible for anyone to lift. Okay. But by working together, we made it happen. Sure. Maybe this is like that. But this is, that's like a hundred times smaller. Imagine giant watermelons sucking the life out of the soil. <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay, you've made your point already. I'll help okay. you guys out. Alright, that's good. Are they strong enough to carry wrong? a tree though? No. That's fine. Like without time, mob being super powered by emotions. How would that work? Being confronted with a new thought can be a challenging thing. Kamaro? Shige, have it's you pretty terrifying. It's like religion? a cult. Huh? Based on everything I've seen, they're a pretty harmless bunch. They sell merchandise, mm. hold meetings. Are they a harmless bunch? There's a religion. lot of them now. Just a group of people who get together and bond over an obsession they have in common. Yeah, let's yank the thing out of the ground and get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's killing me. Ritsu, no, 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 you no. brought that candy with you to school? Oh, this. No, no, no. The student council president gave it to me. Don't. Kageyama, my father came home with a bunch of free samples from the prefectural assembly. Yeah, sure. You're the best. Yeah, that doesn't sound suspicious, Why so. Why don't you take one, bro? I don't blame him. All right, thanks. Here, I don't think it'll work on mob. Oh. Sure, I guess I'll take one for later. Mm, that's a 50-50 well. with Reagan. Okay, so is he brainwashed now? Best, isn't he? Uh, Ritsu, who are Man, the brainwashing is like their members really the subtle. Religion. I like that. <gasps> the candy. Please have a seat, brother. You too, so Reagan. does he now know that the candy is oh, would you the reason? Delicious tea? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good. Get out of there. Oh. Um. <laughs> Great voice acting. I'm not sure we really needed to run that fast. Yeah, it's interesting. They're not attacking. No. What do I do? I can't just leave him there. Oh. Why are you taking your jacket off? And what's with that shirt? <laughs> oh, your jacket has a better defense stat. <laughs> Reagan. Uh, it's oh to no! Attention that you're planning to destroy the divine tree. Prepare yourself for a stern talking. <laughs> what? <laughs> but if we interfere with the divine tree, I'm sure he'll take action. If he's some kind of villain, then whatever it takes, let's free everyone from his sway. Damn. And he's only getting more powerful, right? Because there's more and more people gathering to the tree. That's good. But when this new founder of theirs appeared, everything changed. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. No community can function without a leader. And if those people want their divine tree so badly, maybe the best thing to do is just let him have it. Right? Let's Ooh. go home, Mob. Did something happen? Did he get brainwashed? Hey, uh, Master Reagan. This is just a hunch, but. Have you been brainwashed as well? Yeah. Brainwashed? 
The hearts of the citizens are far more important than the city itself. Most of the people in this city are following He's of so a convincing. Religion. From now on, this city, the whole world will be blessed by the divine tree and Oh my god. Religion. Oh my god. Bob, it could be that in this whole city I'm the only one left. Oh my god. A whole city against mob. Because mob is coming through. <laughs> Oh my god! The voice of Master Cycle Helmet. Now about that. Oh. The original Master Cycle Helmet has returned. Amazing. Oh, I knew Sabomi would be there. Oh, don't don't spoil it for me. Okay, <laughs> back to my discussion. Okay, I mean, they, this is an interesting storyline right now. I think the most interesting thing to me is the fact that the brainwashing seems like this this doesn't feel like the generic brainwashing that i often see in storylines like this like the brainwashing is very nice and very subtle it continues to follow their personalities i like that the the voice actors aren't like necessarily changing the way that they speak until they start like n like talking directly about the divine tree but then even the reason it sounds so weird is because they're saying something saying something so out of character um but they're not necessarily changing their voice very much um but i really i really like the way they're approaching that um because it's just it's very subtle brainwashing where you almost wouldn't be able to tell what's happening um so i think that's that's a really cool idea and then also just the fact that it's like very non-violent and like so non-violent to the fact that they were at that meeting with all the psycho helmet people and they just like basically like they ran away but they didn't even need to run i think they could have walked away and they wouldn't have been followed you know um hold on ah oh, sorry um so i just think it's really interesting that you know um this is a very sort of peaceful takeover that dimple is doing right now but it's really scary because it's just like everyone is slowly just just changing. Um, yeah, that's it's I I really like like this this season so far or these last two episodes have felt like they have like a little bit of horror element to them that uh, it ju it's just the right amount of horror that I really like. I'm not a big horror fan. Um, I I. You know, it's not that I can't handle horror. I think I'm pretty good with horror. I don't think I get scared very easily um, by by horror movies, horror games and stuff. Um, I don't get jump scared that easily, I don't think. Um, and in terms of, like, scary themes, they don't tend to stick with me uh, for a long time. But I don't generally love the stories of horror movies and, and games that much um, or the tropes of them or the the way that they do their characters uh, or the endings of them you know like i I'm, I'm not a huge horror fan there are there are exceptions there i like um the video game soma soma is incredible um i like get out the movie um i like some other stuff here or there but uh for the most part not a massive horror fan regardless um uh the what was I saying? Oh, but regardless, the, there are parts of horror that I really like. Um, or horror slash thriller. And I think this, like, unsettlingness of this of these last two episodes has been the perfect amount for me. The absolute perfect amount. It's not trying to scare you this, this season. I don't feel like it's trying to scare me. Um, it's just telling the story. But the way it's telling the story is very effectively unsettling. The way that Dimple is, like, Dimple's voice actor is doing that, that Psycho Helmet voice. The way the brainwashing is so, like, so just very natural but uncanny valley type uh, deal. Um, the way that, uh, uh, the, the scene where, like, Teru was e eating the candy and then it cut to a shot of the Psycho Helmet just standing behind him. Like, that... That's all just like really nice stuff. And it didn't try to jump scare me with it didn't feel like it tried to jump scare me. Like it wasn't like BOOM! Um it was just it just like cut to a shot where he was standing there and then it cut away and it wasn't 
and they didn't continue to build the tension necessarily. It was just something that happened to show the effects of the brainwashing or whatever. It was very cool. Um, but yeah, I am, I'm very keen for the next episode and episodes. That was, that episode flew by for me. Absolutely flew by. I really, really liked that. So thank you very much for watching this episode. Please make sure to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel and go to my Patreon account for full length, early access and exclusive videos. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.